Hey there everyone, welcome to Ideation HQ. My name is Sufyan Amin. This is a channel for educators to learn more about digital learning technologies and how you can use them effectively in your classroom. In today's tutorial, I would like to share with you a cool feature in Apple Classroom which allows you to see what your students have been up to during the lesson. This feature will be available when you end your lesson on Apple Classroom. Let's take a look at this feature. I have started up Apple Classroom and we are now assuming that um, this lesson here has been going on for a while. My students have been um, working on their task and also exploring different apps and websites um, during this lesson. So once your lesson has ended, on the top toolbar you will see an icon with a circle and three dots inside. Let's tap on that and let's now um, choose the last option here which is end class. Apple Classroom will then create a class summary. Here on the class summary page you will be able to see what your students have been up to in a snapshot. Let's look at the top row. Here it gives you a summary of the apps that's been opened by your students during the lesson. So if I were to scroll down here I can see that my students have been working on a few apps and some of the apps are actually not part of the lesson. Say for example, iMovie, GarageBand and Apple TV. So as a teacher here, I know that you know some of my students have been up to some mischief during the lesson. Now if I were to tap on each of these apps, I will then be able to find out the student that is using that particular app. So in this case here, student C has actually been on Apple TV for seven minutes during the lesson. Now when I click on the Maps app, here I can see that student B and student D have been on the Maps app for 10 minutes and seven minutes respectively. So as a teacher, this will allow me to start a conversation with my students on how they have been using their time with the iPads. Apple Classroom also provides a summary of what every student has been working on during the lesson. So if you look at the second row here, I've got a summary of the students in my class. I've got student A, student B, student C, and student D. And here I can see the number of apps the students have been opening during the lesson. And if I were to click on each student, say for example student D, I will then have some information on the apps that the students have been on during the lesson and the time that they've spent on each app. So you can see here, this student has been on Apple Classroom for 35 minutes, she'll be on 12 minutes, and he's also been on iMovie for about one minute. The Classroom Summary page in Apple Classroom allows you as a teacher to find out how wisely your students have been using the time in your lesson. This is a great feature because it allows you to monitor the activities on your students' iPads and at the same time, minimize behavior issues that you may face in the classroom. If you find today's video tutorial useful, please click on the like button. And if you want to receive more news and updates in regards to educational learning technologies, do click on the subscribe button. So till next time, Peace out.